Chris Rock was being Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. Chris Rock got there from doing jokes like that. Right. He didn't do anything out of the norm. He didn't go any extra. He just did what Chris Rock did. Right. Also, the Academy, um, the production company, has they have to screen all those jokes. Right. Everything is 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 okay. Right. It's, it's so he got the green light. So go ahead, do your right. thing. So when people are saying, "Oh, he should be more, you know, sensitive, whatever, whatever," what is you know, what about Amy Schumer? She said some foul things too. But you know what? No one to walk on my stage and slap her. So you 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 don't know you know what's going to set people off or what what is considered offensive to the point it's too much. So yeah, so no one knew that was too much. So right. it's, I don't just want to say it's Chris Rock's fault, but everything was just going to plan. You know what I mean? Like I said, there was nothing extra about this. Nothing was said. All right, I don't think nothing was said, but it doesn't seem like it was intentional to right. like just keep digging. All right. So then that reaction, of course, and I and everyone, I think, across the board agrees on this, that re, that action does not merit, um, you know, a bad joke. You know, right. that, does, that's, that, that does not equate in any in any right. equation. You know, absolutely. So um, and then I'm going to go the other angle, another angle where, I mean, where uh, Will Smith is talking about. He comes from love. And if he's, you know, this person that comes from love. The way to handle that situation, if, you know, if I was a person, you know, coming from love and he said that joke, I would have reached over, kissed my beautiful wife's beautiful head and made sure the camera saw me say, I love you. You know, don't listen to that or something like that to show right. that, you know, no matter what is said, I'm protecting you. I'm showing right. that love. Right. I really think that everything that he tried to uh, Will Smith tried to um, display or try to show people it all went away. Yeah. All those years of manifestation, law of attraction, yeah. all that, all that love, you discipline know? and all this. And I'm going to, if I'm running on a treadmill, you're going to have to kill me before. Right. I, da, 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 this. All gone. All yeah. gone. It, it, it all now is back to that one, that level, you know, mm -hmm. where, so now, you know, you get insulted and, or you find something that's insulting, you're going to react that way. And like, you know, I've been talking to some like some some major actors because, you know, I want to get their take on it. And they all say, well, you know what? It was just too much. He had a breaking point. All right. He had a breaking point. Yeah. Now, does that mean that when anyone has a breaking point, they can just go off in, in, any, in any place? Kyle yeah. Rittenhouse, he had a breaking point. Right, uh, right. You know, it goes on and on and on. So, January 6th was a breaking point. A breaking point. Right. Right. So, you know, do you, do you want to do that and go, no, you had a breaking point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, man, I think there's something more to that, that someone, you know, and then taking responsibility for the other right. angle angles, taking responsibility for your actions. Right. So he didn't apologize to Chris Rock. He apologized to everybody else. Yeah. They're an accepting speech, but not Except the, the guy Rock. you smack. Yeah. And then he did it next day. And obviously that was like, you know, a PR thing. And was that sincere? So that's you know that's making me. I like, didn't hear the, the apology to him. What was the apology? What did he say? Or oh, it was, it was on Twitter. It was written. He, it wasn't verbal. Uh, you know, yeah. and so he can he can tell you know between the lines. Look, at my mom told me to say sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. you know you can tell when someone's sincere, a sincere sincere sign coming from the heart. So yeah, man, it's there's like I said, there's so many angles and so many uh, ways to look at this. And then you know, coming next February, how's the academy going to handle this? Right. Are, you know, are they going to have no hosts? Are they going to have no one presenting? You know, are they going to have security? You know, like this, like the Source Awards now? Yeah. You know, and then hold on, another angle. You know, these are two black men. What is yeah. what is what is that sending out to to the world? Yeah. Yeah. And, it was, and it produced by a black man. Right. Right. You know, and this and is the even, first time. This is after the the two white Oscars thing. And this was the response right. of this to let a black man produce it. And then, and this happened on his watch, right. which is, I think a lot of people don't take into consideration, but you can, you know, you know, like I know as a black man, you can't mess up. You no, know, you don't have that. You don't have that ability. No. And I, and I tell my, you know, I tell my white friends, you know, and they, it, it just, it, they're like, what are you talking about? It's not about race. And I'm like, you know what? I, I just changed the subject because you, yeah. you don't, you don't, not to you guys. Know. It isn't. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't even know how deep that is. Yeah. That, you know, uh, you know, like, for instance, if Obama, you know, only served one term, that would mean only black black people are only good for one term as a president. Right. That doesn't mean that Barack Obama, 
only serve one a man the individual right yeah yeah so yeah so you know what we did and when i was you know in architecture i was the only black guy there you know i know i represented every black person on the planet you know you know if i if i ate a chicken salad every week you know, they're like, oh, black people eat chicken salads every every, every for Is lunch. that a thing? Is that a thing that they do? Yeah, exactly. You know, so I know. And so that's what I'm saying is that, you know, we do we do have that responsibility uh, and I hate it, but it's put upon us that we have to represent ourselves. And, right. And there we go. And so, also the, the other <laughs> look that's interesting is uh, if you want to know what the world of show business is like and why Harvey uh, Weinstein was able to do what he did. Hmm. Uh, as far as power goes, it's all right there in the fact that Will Smith assaulted somebody and because he's very powerful in Hollywood and very successful, got to sit right. there and then had people consoling him after he Wait. slapped Chris Rock. Anyone, anyone. Yeah. Well, that's that that aspect of it is already predetermined, meaning yeah. like they've already sealed those envelopes. But let me ask you a question. Let me yeah. ask you a question. If it wasn't Chris Rock, it was Amy Schumer and he walked up there and smacked her. They would have. They would have you changed think he, the rules. You still got that Oscar? Absolutely not. Come they on, can't. They which, legally which, can't do anything about that. Which is, they would have been yeah, awkward. You got that Oscar. Come on. So now. here's here's when Harry's half a white dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> I get you, but at that point, it's in motion financially <laughs> for them. They don't give a shit. They wouldn't let him accept it. He would be out of the building. So was the, so was the vi- the voters' rights uh, bill. That's you know? true. Oh. So you, there's always this thing where you're changing the See, rules. The, well, whatever. The difference is the voters' yeah. right is actually on the books. That's not hidden. You know what I mean? That's not. That's just well, done so in was, public. Yeah. And it's yeah. being done in public. I mean, uh, George Floyd was done in public. Oh, I agree. That's my point. Is that all that? There's no secrecy to any of that shit. That's done just but out I'm in saying, the open. Even in the, in the aspect of that, we couldn't get a George. You couldn't get a bill. You you couldn't even I with agree, that. Yeah. Be, and so yeah. what we're talking about is nothing is sacred. And the black people understand that nothing is sacred. None of it is sacred. No doubt. They can change the rules at any given time, whether the envelopes are sealed or they're not. The envelopes are yeah. no sealed. You, all you got to do is look at Katanji, uh, Katanji Brown, the, yeah. what they've, Jackson, uh, was it Brown Jackson, right? Yeah, Brown Jackson, right. Brown, Katanji Brown Jackson, what they're asking her if babies are racist and, and and then oh, yeah, you have yeah. a, you got and you got Kavanaugh where he's going. I like beer. Do you like beer? Do I like beer? I I like to boof me squeak donkey dick Dave. We we did the devil's triangle. Uh, you know, like yeah. this is the level of of and they're trying to, you know, to correlate it in the same way. I have a few. Harry, you got any other angles on this? No, before? I mean, I think we're going to have similar angles other than for me. It, it's just the notion of this is a guy. First, he was laughing about it. Right. So he was fine with it. And then I think he noticed that is this is all a lot of pent up anger and aggression from not dealing with his own marriage and then mm-hmm. being tired of kind of looking like a fool and then having to overcompensate to defend his wife so he doesn't look weak in front of her and the world. And again, you know, it's interesting that he would do it on Chris Rock, of course, after after everything, by the way, that's happened publicly and that she said publicly and done publicly to embarrass that dude. It's the equivalent of taking your girl to a frat party, watching her grind and and, uh, dry hump everybody on the football team. Then you punch the hundred guy uh, the hundred pound guy walking in the door because he said nice haircut. Yeah. Right. It's taking it out on somebody else who 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 is not the problem. I don't know. In my in my eyes. Yeah. 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 And it's well, a bad look for every aspect involved. The culture as a whole, acting as a whole, the whole thing. Him. It makes him look bad. It takes away. It diminishes from his winning that Oscar. It's a, just a bad look overall. I, yeah. so, so I got a couple of a couple of angles to this, which I think is interesting. Number one, um, would he have smacked the rock in the mouth? Probably not. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a good chance he wouldn't have smacked The Rock. Uh, you know, maybe he might have grabbed Terry Crews' balls. I don't know. Mm. That's possible. But 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 he definitely wouldn't have smacked The Rock if Rock if The Rock did the joke. So there's that. You got to keep that same energy. You can't be so so for him. Um, you know, and I've heard people say, you know, they were so proud of Chris the way he handled it professionally. Chris ain't got no fight in him. Like if he gets smacked, that's what happened. 
right, just right. got smacked, right? So, and especially not against Will. So there's that. Right. The other thing is, like you said, is you you got it. You, you have somebody who his his wife didn't even admit that the problem with August and the entanglement, all of that had happened. And basically they aired their own personal marriage and their whole relationship on the red talk table about this yeah. entanglement and everything. And basically humiliated. She never apologized. She basically said, I ha I needed somebody to make me feel something because I wasn't getting it from you. She, she was very candid. She was her 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 veins were filled with ice water. It, there was no real empathy about how he was feeling, um, and he was like, "We get married, we gonna stay together." Da, 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 da. And so this is again why the show, it why why there's a need for this for our show is because we always talk about authenticity, credibility, and empathy. Number one. You're telling you you're saying you have an open marriage, but you don't want an open marriage. You can't mm. say I have an open marriage and then all of a sudden your chick is fucking other dudes, you fucking other chicks, and then you get mad about it. Right. You can it, you can go, hey, I thought that this was I was thinking about this. Uh, I really can't take it. Let's let's renegotiate this. Yeah. But you can't do both. You gotta you can't be this person is supposed to be so worldly when you ain't built like that you yeah. you know i've had situations where i've been with girls where i swung but i was always a soft swinger meaning you want to fuck chicks you can fuck chicks um we could both fuck chicks <laughs> um i'm a fuck chicks but i, I don't want no dude fucking right me. and 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 people would go well. That's unfair. They go well. Listen, it's all unfair. It's also unfair every time we go out to dinner. I pay. You yeah. know what I mean? So that nothing is fair. We decide what our non. It's whatever boundary you're comfortable with. And if they want in on that, that's okay. And if they don't want in on that, that's then they fine don't have too. To do it. I'm not yeah. mad at you. Yeah. It's understanding what your non-negotiables are, and then never negotiate. So right. I think he was dishonest about about what he could put up and put what he could put up with and what he couldn't put up with. Mm -hmm. He he also created this facade as if he was this worldly dude. I know people that have read his I didn't read his book, but I know people that read his book. And one of the things that he talked about in this book was that in 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 West Philly, he was the only dude in the house that couldn't fight. And mm. so he became funny because it was kind of a way of saving his ass. Right. What's interesting about that is, and that ultimately he's he um he really created a scenario where he he has these different characters basically. This is what the book is about. How he has these characters that he put he plays these characters at different times depending on what the situation is. And that's right. how he learned to survive as a young man. And uh, it's also it's sort of like you know a guy who's a joke thief. Even if he's a talented comic, and he's a joke thief, how does he stop stealing jokes after he's been stealing jokes for 25, 30 years? Yeah, it it it's just not it, it. You just haven't even you haven't even built up the muscle to fail, hmm. so that you so that you can fail. So so he talks about these multiple kind of which is which is interesting because as black people this is something that maybe um something that you probably didn't think about how is black people code switch all the time oh yeah. like you cannot operate as a black man in america and not code switch you yeah. have to have your white voice you have to have your you got to know how to how to how to sell it how to <laughs> yeah you got to have your laugh and all that there's because, an aspect of that in the latino community too for sure on, right. Yeah. 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 How, oh, you behave, how you have to behave at work because you have that's the corporate America. Right. You can't go all of their homes, yeah. Yeah. whatever. <laughs> so so Low that. Are for the weekends. We all know this. <laughs> so so, you know, that the, the code switching of that and there's always the code switching present. This is the same thing that happened to Tiger Woods, who um, 
who basically had created this straight dude golfer, straight dude thing, and then he was running around with trashy strippers all over fucking trashy strippers. Yeah, and we're talking about twenty, what was it, like eighteen, twenty chicks that yeah. that came down on him. And and the, what happened was, you know, he's driving an Oldsmobile. Meantime, <laughs> meantime, he's like, I never said I was that dude. You guys right. told me I right. was this dude. And I, I, you know, I needed to check, and so I go. Yeah, I didn't say no, but I didn't say I didn't say yes, but I didn't say no either. Right. And then you, when you come out that you a hoe, and you you running around chasing stank, getting a little stank on the hang down, you know, or <laughs> you 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 know, this is what happens when this is why authenticity is important. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, speaking on that is also part of this this idea. Nobody of looks at, uh, at Charles Barkley and goes, "Hey, man, you're not being wholesome enough." <laughs> right. You know right. what I mean? Like, for, if you're if you're out if you're a dirtbag, quote unquote, from the get go, you don't have to worry about the world finding out you're a fraud or yeah. that you're putting up a facade. And th this is exactly why I don't lie. I don't lie about the pimping. I don't lie about the stripping. I don't lie about my exploits or whatever. I'm just, I'm a dude who's living and trying to be a better person. That's <laughs> it. And wherever I am in that journey is, is truthful and honest. Uh, if you ask me about the past, if I did it, I'll tell you, especially if the statue of limitations is already, <laughs> is already passed. Um, so there's that. Um, so in a sense, you have this guy who has these this lofty, lofty kind of expectations from people that he he feels like he needs to live up to and validate this over and over again. And he's created this this prison, you know, you know, it's a rich prison, but it's still a prison. And you know what they say? The golden handcuffs, they're gold, but they're still they're still handcuffs. Right. And um, so so there's that. So you have this situation where you really haven't expressed um, how you felt about this entanglement, this humi humiliation, yeah. this emasculation um, that you've done, and then we, we and now and then this is building up, and then you well we're gonna stay together because we're gonna build this together, and that's not really what you want to do. Right. She did, he didn't slap Chris Rock. He wanted to slap Jada. That's the smack was for Jada, really. That's the the mat and and Chris Rock made it easy to do so. Like you said, or, or like you said, I said the same thing. Amy Schumer wouldn't have got snapped, but yeah. Yeah. neither would Ricky of Ricky Gervais have gotten smacked. Yeah, yeah. You not as a black man, you're not gonna go up and because somebody told a joke and assault. And this is what people I don't think that people understand that. The the Ricky Gervais was a brutal on the Oscars. Bowling Baru gloves, but yeah. Called, uh, yeah, well, whatever he, I mean, he did a bunch yeah. of things, but he was called them pedophiles, and, yes. I, and and the fact that he didn't call them pedophiles, he called pedophiles the way British state is really. Well, in, all, in all fairness, <laughs> what language is he speaking? Who started it? It is English, <laughs> so he might be right. In Fuck all fairness, <laughs> Peter in all fairness, let's remember the name of the language and who's speaking it. Let's to be honest, I don't care what you say. I'm not going to say aluminum, so oh, I don't Jesus. care what you say. Oh, Fuck that. It's, it's aluminum. So, um, <laughs> the, but would, would Will Smith have smacked Ricky Gervais? No. And had he ever smacked Ricky Gervais, what would have been the ramifications of him walking up and smacking a white man on, on, on the Oscar stage? Yeah. How devastating would have there? I mean, of course, we know a woman. It would have wouldn't have been OK for it would a be woman. The end of his career. But uh, but him smacking a woman. Yeah, it had been fine. It would have it would have not been fine if he smacked Ricky Gervais. And then you also not going to smack somebody like The Rock who you, you got this smoke for you, too. How about that? So wait a minute, Dwayne Robinson, Dwayne Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Dwayne, the Rock. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson's got he's got a problem with Will Smith. No, no, I'm saying the point is if, if it was he the was, rock hosting, if he was doing and said something, Will would not run up there and smack that dude. Yeah, gotcha. Because you don't want to get your, your you want to get broken. Right. So, you know, it's 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 really here's the other thing. He everything up to him smacking him. Even if he would have went up on stage and whispered in his ear, "Keep my mame's wife out of your yeah, motherfucking yeah. mouth." Yeah. Even that would have been okay. Yeah. Right, that right. would have been fine. Yeah, 
Um, even if he he could have also said, "Hey, listen, this is a touchy say. I don't think it's tasteful, and I, I'm going to need you to apologize to my wife." Even yeah. that would have been okay. Then you have black women. Uh, I'm not talking about Yamanika specifically, but oh, talking geez. about how black men don't black men don't stand up for for black women. This that when 85 percent of all black men are with black women. So. Yeah, I mean, there's this 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 ultimate narrative. But if you're gonna be dishonest about um, forgiving forgiveness, if you are really not gonna forgive, if you forgive, you gotta forgive and move on. Um, but you can't forgive. But but he had created this such a lofty kind of highly evolved man that should. Well, be here's the to... weird thing. Here's the thing. I believe that Will Smith has evolved from when he was a young man. I Absolutely. think what we saw at the Oscars was not Will Smith. I think that's the facade is the character that went up there and slapped them across the face and started screaming. I think that's not Will Smith. I think that was a facade put on because he's got to stand up for his wife in public. I, I have another theory. Mm. I, I've noticed that when Will Smith plays a character, he embodies that character. When he was playing Ali, all his interviews were kind of like this gregarious kind of like, um, like this bigger, like this bigger person, because yeah. he, he was he was Ali. So like you know, not when he was you know in front of the camera, so to speak, the the you know the, shooting the film, you know when he was off camera and when he was not shooting, he was, was he still was that. Yeah, and I really think that he was still embodying Richard Williams in mm -hmm. that, in that you know what I mean he was still that Richard Williams character because I really believe that that's something Richard Williams would do is go right, right. back to someone saying that's hey, interesting listen. yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, I really but, think that I really think that Will Smith was embodying Richard Richard Williams. That's that's my theory. Yeah, that's, but that, I mean, that's he an was, interesting. It is, Go except ahead. for me when I watch the playback on, it, and we've all watched it like this is a Bruder film over and over again. But, I can't watch it. I have not watched. I have not. I have not watched. Well, one of the things that you might see is after Chris Rock tells the joke, he Will laughs. Smith is laughing. And he's not like a little, not like a huh huh. Like he is full on laughing. Like well, he's yeah. Like, hey, it's all in. You, dip, you, you could argue that, all right, I, you know, I was in. You, you know, dip, was you dip in and out of that character because, I mean, you know, I play characters, you know, to sound like, you know, I'm just a great thespian. But I know that, you know, if you're going to be convincing, you know, even before, you, you know, they say action, you got to get into that character. And then yeah. when they say cut, you know, you got to roll out of the character. It doesn't necessarily stop like that. Right. Right. So I'm sure. Thinking, yeah. You know, and so. You know this. Well, you know, what, you know, what would Richard Williams do if he feels his family is being threatened? It's interesting. You know, and then that's basically what he did. He came out as, you know, as Richard Williams. Yeah. And then he turned back around, you know, did the action happen. And I really think that kind of took him out of character. And yeah. as he turned around, walked around, he was Will Smith. Yeah. Kareem, yeah, I, Kareem Abdul Jabbar wrote like a really long post about it, which was amazing. Just breaking down every aspect of why it was not good. The whole thing was bad. It's bad for African Americans. It's bad for Hollywood. It's even bad for women. It just shows his wife can't handle a joke. She can't uh, fend for herself. He goes, mm. It's just bad all the way around. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's bad for pacifists, the whole thing. Yeah. It's just a bad look overall. And it, just it, some it, shit. She, she also yeah. could have made an effort to put, grab him and pull him back. Like, don't go. She could have right. done that. She could have grabbed him by the sleeve and stopped but him. But you know what? But no one really knew that he's going to go up there and smack him. Either. No, but even, but even Chris Rock. Actually, at least of all, Chris Rock, because yeah. he thought he was just playing around. Yeah, because Chris Ford leaned forward to say, yeah. well, you want to tell me something? Yeah. So. Yeah, had his hands behind his back and he yeah. leaned forward. So it's like, there's a, but this is a, what's also interesting about this is, you know, the, the, the this, this talk of the fact that, um, how women are not empowered. Uh, she literally had him on a remote control with a look, with a, shot him a look, and he set him off. Set him like, follow, what do you want me to do? What, what do you need me to do to feel yeah. comfortable? And so this is because something in that moment, and this is what men put themselves into in that moment, it's better to go on national TV and slap Chris Rock. Uh, at the Oscars than it is then to, to ride in that with car her, right? ride home and her going. So yeah, you just did he nothing. He away his options. Right. Yeah. He's like, well, I guess I'm slapping. I guess I'm going I'm to jail for somebody. assault. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Young man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha.
alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.